I couldn't stand the stink in there if I went in his lobby or his apartment, you know what I mean? Them guys are nasty, you know that, right? And black people don't take a bath. Oh my god. They got these they get these what they call ring worms in their head. Oh my god. And the talk about lice. Oh my god. And the women are just as bad. Oh god no. I was like, I want to. Oh. They stink that bad. Oh. And their clothes are probably all just ugh, you know? Oh my God. Yeah, I had one of them. We opened up the plate pen. <laughs> we took out the baby maker and opened up the plate pen. Yeah. Winnie. We've had somebody take parts off of it since it's been sitting there. Oh. Yeah. I, they better be watching and not catch anybody out here. I'm going to shoot them. He just bought a grill and I, I think the grill. I didn't do anything to him. I know, but the language. Give time, boy! Give time! Come on, Dan, let's go. This is the 70s, Dan. Coward! Scared me! Hey, it takes a bigger man to walk away. He's got his camera off. 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 Coward! Kind of weird you want to fuck a 25-year-old. Watch your mouth. Come the fuck on, motherfucker! Sir, go on, please. Come on, there's a bunch of kids. Please, Dad, come on, let's go. I'm not going anywhere. Come on, Dad, come on. You come to my show? <laughs> you ride your goddamn cocksuckers? Yeah, you, motherfucker. Please, Dad. Come on, Dad. It's been that heat. Come on, Dad. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. I didn't do it to a girl. And then... All right, you guys. I'll tell you back. There's three of these videos we're going to do. And I'm only going to cut to the important things. Hey, Barry, when was the last time you seen that kind of viewer duration? <laughs> Back to the Mopar stuff. Back to the Mopar on the Ford, pissing everybody off. That's some Mopar rallies here. Oh, he, he, oh, I thought he put him in the doghouse for safekeeping. Keep them Killing fucking... Killing your neighbors and crack it. That's not right. Killing your neighbor's chickens and shit. How's it feel with that neighbor almost whipping your ass over that, Barry? Hey, Barry, I got something to ask you, Bubba. Were you stroking it too hard? Were you stroking the chicken too hard? Did you stroke too hard? When you I, mean, I mean, you do got an eight inch cock. <laughs> <laughs> hefty, hefty, hefty. Not Barry, Barry, Barry. <laughs> I'll bet you dollars a donut where I can vouch for that. I'll bet you. Very so big, you guys. He's got to use a fucking Ziploc bag as a fucking tool. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> motherfucker! I'm like, oh, he, got, he got to use a fucking sixty-gallon trash bag and fucking duct tape. <laughs> Look, I had to see from fucking scary movie four with Charlie Sheen when he takes that Viagra shit. Cats is just like all them women are banging on that fucking door, boy. Mm. Mm. Hey, Barry. On a serious note, dude, you were talking about having threesomes and shit with women. Like two women. I want to tell you something, bro. You might want to stay out of that. You could have pleased one woman to stay, let alone two. <laughs> oh, but he's a sick fuck. He's like, I'll be good with a handy. You can do that yourself. <laughs> oh, hell no. I mean, no fucking way in hell. Crater. Uh, I think we missed it. Let's rewind a little bit. 
We'll try to pause it, try to get really good at it. This is the car he went up on that dude about like it's a brand new car. Look at that shit. When his arm lifts up, look at that frame rail, folks. Hole. Up in here. Hole. Look at that shit. Gone. Very. I'm going to rewind gone. this, and I'm going to slow this down so you guys can actually see it. I mean. Oh, it gets better. And, and I want y'all, next time you look at the car on the ground, I want you to look at the passenger side where the fender door is at the top of the bottom with the driver's side. You'll see what I mean by the car's bit. All ready? Gregor. Front frame rail gone. <coughs> we'll be right back. I gotta throw up. I'm just gonna throw it up. Oh, yeah. That's like a glove almost. Oh. Hitting, hitting the jack. <coughs> well, let's give us an idea. Everybody panel on that car would have to be redone, and it would have to go on a frame straightening machine and straighten it out. Uh, I like that, but I mean, uh, guaranteed. Uh, this is what I'm talking about: bottom of the door, the top of the door, and a, around the window right there on the fender. Looks look like at the passenger side, look at the driver's side when he walks around it. Keep digging. You'll see it. Yeah, there's a magnum 500 some work on there. <coughs> we got some magnums. What that little guy? Like shit. What's the matter? You're not gonna do nothing with it anyway. So I thought it rust away. I mean, talk I shit. I don't like the rally. From your glory days. I love rally. It just doesn't look right. I love all the bond yeah, taking the bond of fender. Paper. Brand new fenders though. Such a fucking liar, dude. I mean, it's not okay. He, he goes in this one video and talks about new four pans, and there's another video where he says the thing needs four pans again already for the third time. We've made fun yep. before. I mean, he blames it on China sheet metal. I mean, no, it ain't China sheet metal. It's from you just leaving them up like a set with water set on. Installer error. There's a magnum. It's a deep dish magnum. Yeah. I bet that would look good on there, though. In 10 years, this is going to be a big ass auction. Dude. Red, dude. You watch. I know it's black. The inside of the rim is painted red. You see guys like, well, I'm not going to mention names but on this channel, but you see certain people going to auctions and buying cars all the time from places just like this, dude. From people just like Barry. Oh, yeah. Look how oh, pitted yeah. with rust is in that corner right there. That's a brand new rim, Dad. I mean, fucking pitted. Look at that shit, yeah. man. Look at that. I think we've had it. Yeah, that's that's just, I'd run that rim, dude. I, I'd just put that on my car and run it. I'd put noxes on that bitch. I mean. Should have painted the whole outside red, too. I don't know why I didn't. Shoot the whole thing red. You get around yeah, spray paint? Red. If it's pitted like that there, it's probably pitted. It is. It's pitted on the inside, too. I mean, it'll never seal. Look at the fucking bead, man. That's why Barry, you used to notice on Barry's tires, he uses yeah, tons and tons and tons of glue. That's because their rims are all bent and pitted. Put some tires shit. up on them, I guess. Try them out, maybe. I don't know. That fucking front frame rail's gone. I mean, look at it. Back there at the clip right yep. here, man. I mean, that's where you're, and that's where your steering bolt's on, man. Yep. Or is that they're going to hit? I mean, that's where your fucking steering bolt's on the car, guys. And he went off on this kid or this man. I don't know if well, it's a kid, kid, it looks like. I looks mean, like a teenager. Went off on him, dude, talking about it. Knew this, knew that. Oh, what the fuck's any of that matter? It ain't bro, really, it ain't safe. Hit a pothole too hard when you're turning that rip right out of that fucking thing. Just like that Mustang. Dad, he's played GTA, man. He's a fucking, he's, you know, he's a fucking ass. I'm not saying you can see it plain as day, right? It's riding all the way up to the fucking bolt. He survived a fucking 30,000 rollover, dude. He can survive this. Oh, that was another lovely thing, you know what I mean? I mean, and he, he, he busts himself out on it. He points to 20, and it clearly says that means number 20 on the on the checklist. I mean, not 20 rollovers, dumb fuck. You think the first five questions meant whatever number was there, it meant the checklist, but that one, 20 meant 20 rollers, and that one didn't mean number 20 on the checklist. You're an idiot. 
you done this yourself. Instead of being a man, owning up and just saying, look, I, I'm done. I'm sorry I fucked up and not mentioning it anymore. You just keep doing shit like you did today. And that's beautiful for us. I mean, yep. Again, try to offer some good advice, Barry. Apple to apple, you know. You know what you are. It shouldn't matter what we say about you, right? That's how a real man would handle it. You know you're a racist, homophobic, misogynistic, fucking... But every time somebody says something, it hits you hard because you know they're saying liar, it's real shit. Liar, low-life, thief, it's druggie. It's true. I do believe. And listen, there's nothing wrong with being a druggie. Everybody has addiction no. problems. It just means you made one bad decision. But when you want to attack people, <laughs> being, a, being a, a, a druggie... Right or being a recovering addict or something like that, and you want to attack somebody because you, they're a you druggie? you literally helped keep Ryan's mom sick, dude. Oh, that's up. I don't like Facts. You like to get into that, Barry? Man, like you want to get into that? I know all about it, Barry. What do you think when you got blood prescription fraud? That shit was over, Barry. Right Where's Ryan's mom at now, Barry? I know where she's at and what happened to her, and I know what everybody thinks happened to her. Well, guys, let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments. If you got a good comment. Now, poor kid ain't had a chance. That's why I won't fuck with you. Yeah, drive it down there. That kid could punch me, kick me in the nuts, and I probably would hit him because I just my heart yeah. breaks for him. Just leave it in your mind. Don't, don't write it. See, see, see what I mean? Just leave it in your mind. Yeah, and don't mind. write it down. I can't take it if you say something bad. Hey, hey, Barry, why do you deactivate your comments on like some of your videos? For? You can't have none of mine anymore. Uh, like, even your lives, you deactivate your live stream comments. I mean, he keeps the shit up like he did today. He won't but have comments on any of his videos because it just keeps promoting you. And then they see what he is, and it is it is what it is. I mean. So, I got one more I want to do. And let me find it. I think it's this one right here. Yeah, it's this one right here. And then we're going to move on to some rich content. I want to truck metal, too. Okay, for those of you that don't know, before it starts out, Barry's gonna talk about truck metal. There's only, like, what would you consider them? Four pieces that go in there, four small pieces. Yeah, what are they considered? I don't really know. Truck drop offs, right? Truck drop offs, yeah. You have two truck drop offs. You have truck. Your roll pan that comes over your axle, yeah. and then you're back on the yeah. back. Yeah, you only have those. Your gas tank is the majority of your trunk, and I could prove it. I have a 67 out there that I can prove it with. So, Barry, act like he's. So, would you install some fucking truck drop offs? Because. There's no load lines. Like yeah, I mean, there's, there's no, there's no fucking new truck drop. What'd you right attach now? them to? I mean, the bottom of your quarters are wiped out. So what'd right. you attach them to? And you can see in a minute if this is the one, it's got like a piece of aluminum zip screw to the bottom of the quarter. We woke up to this. Walking to the Midwest, it's you have snow. Along with like other places, but welcome to the Midwest. And ice and snow. Don't fall and bust your ass. And, uh, Winning. Got a nasty out here, guys. Real that's bad. nasty. You live through the blizzard of 78, but that's nasty. Water dripping down from the gutter. And shit, and my grandpa was coming home on leave when that shit happened. Yeah. Or no, he would have been home, wouldn't he have? Rain yeah, I think he would have been home. Huh. 78 when the blizzard happened. I think he was coming home on leave. I think grandpa was coming home on leave, though. Yeah, he'd have been coming home from that. Yeah, everything covered with this. I think he was hiking it back because he didn't have a car to Whatever you want to call it here, it's just. <laughs> so he's fucking bump, like you know that's like in shit. Death or white death. <laughs> white death. Huh? Hey Barry, what's your plans for the holidays, yeah. buddy? You going over to your sister's house and chilling with your family, nieces and nephews, yeah, eating over. some good food, no, no, he catching goes, up. He goes over to whatever the fuck his name is, and the dude <laughs> and his other buddy walk off talking, and Barry's sitting there recording the video all by the lonesome. Chime in on that video yesterday. That was kind of fun. Driving it for the first time in uh, probably 15 years, 12 years. 13, 14, something like that. But you love the car, and it means so much to you. But you let it set for 15 years without driving. The last time I drove it, when it had brakes, you know. Wow. Uh, we drove it around the property one time in the last three years and parked it over there for a Halloween episode. And that was something that the only time. That was it. You mean when you showed off that but, shotgun? But hey, dude, if you're watching this video, remember what he said. He's got a new gas tank for that, new this, new that. Yesterday was the first time. And then new fenders. Those look like tiny fenders. It set with a new gas tank for three years. What do you think happened to that gas in that gas tank in three years? I was still kind of sketchy with it, so we're going to... Barry, before you speak, tell me. Why we put it on the rollback is we're going to jack this up, pull the wheels, and do a little brake inspection, do a little check it on her. 
I mean, that motherfucker is gone, dude. Gone. And that is where your steering boat's on. If that comes loose, you literally have no steering. You can turn one way just fine, but the other way, it's not going to happen. I mean, and then look down here. Pay look attention to your shit. torque box. Look at this. Look at that. They loaded a piece of plate still over top of it. It's right now all around the plate still. She went to, uh, look right there. Look right there. I mean, you can't make it up. Underneath of this just a couple years ago. And now it looks like it's got a decent really? rocker on the outside. Why do you why do you zip screw? He screwed? said the floor is good, but the floor, there's a big rod hole right, right there in it. I mean, oh, no, there's a video too. where he talks. Look at this. I got new uh, quarter panels for it. That's tape, Dad. Really well. That's that metal tape they spray paint over. Got that for it. There's a new gas tank I put in it. There ain't no yeah, new chunk drop water. off of that. What are you talking about? <laughs> it was new when I put it in there. Where is it at? You would see it through the quarter. It does have a new city unit in it. Look at this brake line, you guys. There's a Look at that. Brake wow. Like That's a SEMA car. Line, on the back, sure are. Look at that shit. I mean, you couldn't even make the brake line it. without fucking... Look at yeah. that shit. Who the it's fuck does right that? On that? Leaf spring, but it ain't rubbing on it. I'm oh, it's about to rub on it, but it's not rubbing on it. Nope. Everything doesn't... Uh, it looks like it's been pissing a little rusty right here. Yeah, a little rusty right there. I don't like that. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Wow. It looked like I've been rubbing in there, dude. Yeah, it looked like it, it, looked like it was about to rub that. It looked like rust to me, folks. That looked like that brake line being jiggling in there. It was wearing on it. Wheel shoulders look pretty old. You know, they look old. You know that you've got all this work to but you don't know if you've ever put wheel shoulders in it? Yeah, it won't be too expensive. I mean, it's. It's went up in price from what it was. Parts used to be cheap, now it's gonna cost a little more. Hey, you but got the great boy, you shouldn't worry. Capital One for the rescue. We need it and fine. What's in your wall? Here already, so. What was the well, point? Not when was no this video? When was this video? Two years uh, ago? Um, the monster? A year ago. So what was the point, Barry? Even if you put all that shit on there, got the brakes working and shit, and you did put a master on and get the brakes working. What's the point, man? You let it set for a year, buddy. A year. Hey, Barry, again, when was the last time you seen 232 views on a video? That's the a point. A year ago. You're up on You're the rollback. You're full of shit. <laughs> kind of like on my table, you know? Like your workstation. This is my... Show your rear frame station. rails, buddy. I'm going to work off the rollback. Look at that. Oh, that frame rail is fucking chewed up You're in that fucking right there. Show them frame rails, dude. It is when it was. It was brand new. New blowers over here, too. Wow, mm -hmm. look at that, you guys. Hey, on a minute. Hey, on a minute. Check out the it frame rail. Well, he didn't even want the pinch weld back on the frame rail. It was rail. brand new. New blowers over here, too. Look. Yeah, look. I mean, right here, look at this shit. Zip screws, dude. Zip screws. Look at the gap. You could stick your finger in that motherfucker. That car ain't structurally sound. He knows it. That's why he ain't out there running 70 mile an hour in that motherfucker. That's supposed to be welded to that your car will kill you if you get in an accident. Or hit a bump, a pothole. I mean, going too fast, turning the wheel, you know, making a left-hand turn, hit a bump, dude, boom. Rip the fucking thing out of the frame. Look how rusty the fuel line is. I mean, you can literally see daylight through the motherfucker. Yeah, that's what I, when I was panning around, I saw. I mean... Were you too lazy to actually re-weld that to the floor? Because that's structural. I mean... You brag about this shit, dude, and you, and yep. then you jump on people who are saying things about the car. Well, they're they're saying Very the truth, real. dude. Look at that shit. Look at the guy. It looks Look like you put a seam sealer or something in it. Is that the frame rail? Yeah. Look at that. You can literally slide your hand in there. When you step on that floor, I guarantee it goes tink 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 tink. I mean, look at the Let's look make at the sure torque box in the front. Something. It was brand new. New blowers over here too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, that's your frame rail. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that frame look, right. at the, look, look, look at the look. Look, look, look. Look at this. Look. That's your look at the frame look, rail. Look, it's, it's done. That's why he ain't driving it, man. He can't drive it. He, he knows he would get killed in that car if he ran it down the highway. I mean, look About at the welds in here. Road. I mean, I mean, well, he shows this. But one can I show you guys? Can I, can I explain it? The genius of Barry Beamer. You weld new floor pins in this car, supposedly. And I'm using weld loosely, it looks like. Then you weld new aprons in it. To put the new aprons on a rusty frame rail that's already not attached to the floor. Let's be honest. I'll be real. I'll give you the credit, Barry. They probably went rusty 15, 20 years ago. I mean, that's the point with you. You're killing these cars. You ain't saving shit. 
This is a good video. Hey, hey, Jeff, man, or, you know, not telling you what you gotta do, man, but if you wanna check out this video, man, here's the title, man. Because you and your dad will get a kick out of this, dude. This is fucking nuts. Like, like, I knew the frame rail was rotted. I didn't know it wasn't well to the floor pan of the car. We'll get to her. Yeah, we'll get to her. Just like you just gonna get to that Mustang there and that fucking Mustang. Just like that fucking boot swing truck. I mean, the mods kind of like they, you know, the chosen one. No, you put wiper blades on it and brakes on it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, a lot of work done to it over the years. Why are you trying to paint away from that rust? We built shock towers. Brake line looks original. Look at how bad that is. Right that is dangerous, good. dude. Frame looks good here. It's not all oh, right. What do you mean? <laughs> look at the gap it's between that motherfucking floor shit. pan. Look at the gap there. Anybody, that, when we put the floor pan in this car, I'll show you what I'm talking about. There'll be no gap. That motherfucker will be made it. I can show them on the fucking uh, dart. I mean, you have to make sure that that is made it. That. <laughs> that is your your four pin is literally what ties that front and back together along with your rockers. I mean, hey, floorboards new, so yeah. Well, check this out. And then Barry, you're such a fake bitch. I mean, you go, there is no rust. It's right there, dude. Out. I mean, look at that. Jesus Christ, now look at the back frame rail. It's really rotted. The little tabs are really bent out. I mean, it's got new aprons up here. These have been passed. So it just had a lot of work done to it. That car needs an easy ten thousand dollars. You stop saying that you had to mock shop or whoever do that work because you're making them look like the incompetent fucking fools. And I want to say this before we go on because I got one more thing I want to do after this, just to show the other side of the frame rail on the other side of the car. But I want to say this: that car is a two-barrel four-speed fucking dealership block car. Yeah, front row and, lot car. Anybody and I'm telling you this: wanted, wanted a new car and a Mustang at that time went to the dealership and you drove off that day. In that I'm car telling you this. Credit. Barry thinks that car was worth sixty thousand dollars. <laughs> that car needs at least, at the very fucking least, ten thousand dollars worth of sheet metal box for it. That's not counting the labor that you would have to pay someone to put all that stuff in. And that's that's only seeing what I'm seeing right here. God have, knows what anything else it looks would like. Have to go on a frame rack. It would have to be straightened out. Yes, it's bent. I mean, look at the <coughs> right, passenger side fender. Gap all the way Breaking up and look at the driver's side when it's still right now. It's starting to get burn in the ice. Window on the driver's side. Off me. So we're going to get out of here. We just thought we'd jump on here and show you a little update and let you. You wouldn't be having these problems if you're just a real dude, but you're not. That, you're a punk that, you know, that knows your life has a amount of the shit. My table. My roll bag. We're going to work on it, right? Ask anybody. Do you know what, Sadbury? You had a lift and you couldn't even put it up. I mean, you fu another, another way, you fucked over your friend that was nice enough to give you a lift. Mm -hmm. One more, you guys, and then we're going to be out of here. And it's only going to be a clip because I'm not watching the full video. You guys are going to have to uh, have Grant Barrett of the cameras. Not bearing nothing, boy. We're going to put that Mopar rally. Excuse me. We'll he jacked off too hard, man. I mean, he got his wrist off. Shit, way before it ever got this far. All you have to do is apologize to keep our name out of your fucking mouth. We'll I gave you that for your opportunity, we'll motherfucker. Right. So I'm around here. I can but no, on you pushed us to the point where we started doing some stupid. It's some stupid. And we found out what you now did. Now look, Barry's about to show you all the patchwork that's been done. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so let's see what we got. We got an updated fuel line. Uh, that's a Look at the weld that they did on the bottom of that to try to fix that frame rail. Look at that shit, man. Look Dad, you want to put that out or you want me to? Go ahead, man. I'll, I'll sit down. Look, this is a piece of angle iron that they booger welded in place. The pinch weld's literally pretty much rotted off this frame rail. That's supposed to be a lower pinch weld. That's rotted off. They've looks like boxed in another piece here that's all booger welded together. He's got. I'm not sure if those are factory washers or not. I don't think that's what I was going to talk about. I don't think them are factory washers, I mean, man. Um, let's see here. I mean, yeah, the lift's literally gone here. That's probably a hole right here if you smack it with a hammer. There's probably nothing yeah. underneath of it, dude. And it's not, and hold on, little guys. It don't stop there. Look on down. Look, you, you're not even pointing out the, look at this rust and separation, mm -hmm. dude. I mean, look at it. Look at it here. Look at the rust and separation, man. I mean, is that grease Three, on a ball joint? Three no, that's back on the frame. That's what I, I thought. You can see a, a extensive Extensive work. I mean, he's talking about extensive patchwork, man. Look at that. 
of the frame and towards That's the hackery. That's dangerous. Explorer. Look. Pause that. Yeah, you can see it. Look at that shit. That's let's try to get a better. There is no penetration there. I mean, Jesus Christ. Yeah, extension. I mean, this ain't what they mean, welding. guys, when they say if you can't so weld, weld a lot. If you can't weld good, weld a lot. This is not what they mean by that. I mean, point out. Look at the holes in it. Look at the fucking holes everywhere. There's fucking holes everywhere. There is no penetration there. That's just a bunch of booger welds stacked on top of each other. Is what that Can is. Can you imagine that that one guy down in Tennessee was to get this car into a shop and do a walk around video of it? I'm not gonna say his name because not on know. this channel, but. but can you imagine that? Like, oh, like dude, he would, he would. He would. This side of the car is the one that's bent. This is the driver's side, right? Yeah. This is where it's bent. Yeah, yeah. If he pans out, I'll show you. Well, put about. the old girl back together. Under here, she got new control arm bushings. Look yeah. at the wheels. Look what they did. Those look like new springs. New shocks, new ball joints, uh, new apron up front. Look, the rubber's and cracked the on the ball the joint. I'm talking about it's a new ball joint. It's set so long the rubbers have deteriorated. Bushings, new springs, same thing on the other side. New shocks, new ball yeah, joints. Yeah, let's talk about this, you guys. Uh, new apron mm -hmm. up front. You can't even grease it. Okay. Guys, you do not want to stitch a fucking apron. Those are supposed to be spot welded in place, not welded like, like that. Running. Yeah, they're supposed to be welded like that. And if you want to straighten them up, then yeah, you can go along and do that. That's fine. That's the best welding I've seen in this car. He must have paid somebody to do that. Barry did not do that himself. And apron in the back was patched. The rear apron was patched. Yeah, look, he patched up in there. Johnny Morehouse. Typical thrust spot on each side. Look at that. Look at your firewall section. And apron in the back was patched. The rear apron was patched. See it, Dad? And it's busted loose right there. Look at that, man. Now, I want to say something, okay? Because I, mean, I know from experience. You see this shit? That's bent from him wrecking this car, folks. That is all bent. My car needs... My Mustang, we got a full floor fan out here. We're not buried Beamer in it. We're putting a full floor fan in it. And I have to buy a lower firewall section, which we'll section out and weld in. You'll never be able to tell it's been done. I would not do that work, and I would not show that work if I did that work. Fuck no. I wouldn't show it at all. This motherfucking car is bad. He like, that's did, nothing to be proud of. He's not lying when he said he was running from the police and smacked the guardrail at a, a, a crazy amount of speed. He's not lying about that. That's a true story, folks. I mean, well, have a I mean look, Frank, look, it's been in right there. Yeah, it, it, it's bent. The, the whole side of this car is bent. It, it's, it's bent like this. I mean, uh, if you bend pants back, you can actually house, see it. You look where the fender meets the windshield on the driver's side, and it dips down like that. The, the front of the fender is higher than the fucking than the windshield. Hang on, Dad. Let's see if we can't find a video where he walks on the car. Give me one sec. Dad, talk while I do That's this. why the car and floor pans keep rotting out. Because when it rains, water, instead of running off your hood and down the front of it, it's running back towards the window. So you know, that's why the lip looks like it does on, on the fucking firewall and shit. I mean... <laughs> Is this one where he walks around? <laughs> and look, I'm only, I'm only laughing at it because he keeps attacking people when they say something about this car. Act like it's a beauty, yeah, beautiful I mean, fucking six-figure car. Hurt. Oh. Be real, dude. You're it's like you said, it's junk. Look at them gold eyes. The only thing that car's not going for is it's a four-speed. But most people, yeah. when they seen how bad it was, they are going to get on this Right here, man. Stop. Man. Pause the fucking thing. The front of this fender is fucking higher than this point here. Look at this fucking car. It is fucking bent. This right here is is it's going like this right there. Down here, it's spread out. If you look at the gap, it's fucking spread out. And if you look at it from the front, you can really see it. When you look at the look at the passenger side at the same time with the driver's side. You can, and when he gets on the fucking all side up, you can see a plain ass fucking day, man. He can say it's the fender gaps all he wants. It's not the fender gaps, dude. It's fucking bent. He hit that fucking car, bro, cooking it, dude. I mean, and I don't know if it's from that or if it's from when they welded them floors and shit in. You can see that the, it's not attached to the frame rails on that side. Especially that side was the worst, wasn't it? Yep. That's exactly, exactly. That side was the worst. See, I'm, I know what I'm talking about, man. The gap on that side in the floor pan was a lot bigger than the one on the passenger side. That's because that frame rail is pushed down. Hi, guys. Welcome back. Maybe this will show the front end. Welcome back in the garage and that. We're moving cars. The door needs to be shut. So. <laughs> put the white truck with the seat. trailer at the end of the truck. <clears throat> so we can get across this bridge. It looks like I might have to move a couple more, looks like. Well, he don't show it, you guys, but you guys can go look if you yeah, guys you want. Hi, right, guys. Welcome back to Bayman Sun Garage. We got one tire mounted. I mean, so I'm going to move to Rich Content. I hope you guys have enjoyed this trip down memory lane with the beautiful... Fucking Beamer, Sons of Garage, 69, Mach None, 
And yeah. I appreciate the gesture, Barry, about saying all your shit's junk and all my shit's junk. I agree with you. That's something we got common ground on. I agree 100%. I mean, but that don't mean I'm going to stop fucking with you. No. Nice try, though. Winning. Treat people how you want to be treated, dude. Give it a try. Be right back, all you guys. So, ready? One, two, three. All everybody say it with me. Winning!